Greetings guys, uh, this is Magnanimous Minds Lectures Online. Today we are busy with the Electronics N4 and we've got a question here which is under the unit or chapter about a capacitance. The question says a 4 microfarad capacitance, capacitor and an unknown capacitor are connected in series across a 20 volt supply. And then the first question says calculate the value of the unknown capacitor if total capacitance is 3 microfarad. And then the second question says uh, the potential difference across each uh, capacitor. For the first question, uh, it says calculate, uh, calculate the value of the unknown capacitor. Uh, we know that if uh, capacitors are connected in series, so this is C1, C2, uh, the total capacitance is equals, it's uh, calculated using the formula 1 over CT equals to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. And we are going to make use of that. And uh, making use of that, we are going to have... Uh, our total capacitance is said to be 3 microfarads, so we're going to have 1 over 3 times 10 to the power negative 6 equals to, and then the first capacitor, which is C1, it's a 4 microfarads, so it's going to be 1 over 4 times 10 to the power negative 6 plus the unknown, which is just C2. And then from there we make C2 subject of the formula. To do that, we're going to take this 1 over 4 times 10 to the power negative 6 to the other side. So we have 1 over 3 times 10 to the power negative 6 minus 1 over 4 times 10 power negative 6 plus 1 over oh, equals to is equals to C2 this equals to 2 and then if we punch this into the calculator we'll get uh, a 2,500 uh, over 3 so 1 over C2 equals to 250,000 over 3. And then we invert them. So C2 is going to be 3 over 250 thousand therefore c2 equals to so three over two hundred and fifty thousand this is a uh, one point two times ten to the power negative five which is as good as uh, twelve microfarad and uh that's it for the first question and then for the second question which is uh, calculate the potential difference uh, we know the relationship between uh, capacitance voltage and charge which is uh, it says C equals to Q over V and we know that QT equals to Q1 equals to Q2 therefore to get our QT we'll see QT equals to CT VT and our total capacitance is uh, 
3 times 10 to the power negative 3, at negative 6 times 20. And this gives us 3 times 10 to the power negative 6 times 20. It gives us 6 times 10 to the power negative 5, which is simply 60 micro coulomb. Therefore, to get the voltage, uh, we are still going to make use of the very same formula. So, we are going to see for the first one, uh, let me do it like this C1 is equals to Q1 over V1. Therefore, V1 equals to Q1 over C1. And in this case, our Q is 60 times 10 to the power negative 6 over. And our capacitance uh, C1 is 4 times 10 to the power negative 6. So this will cancel this out and we are left with 6 T over 4 which is uh, 15 15 volt that's V1 then for V2 making use of the same formula V2 equals to Q2 over V2 and Q2 is 6 T times 10 to the power negative 6 over so this is C2, it's supposed to be C2, C2, it's supposed to be C2, so it's Q2 over C2, and uh, C2 we calculated it, and it gave us 12 times 10 to the power negative 6, so this will cancel this out, and we are left with 60 divided by 12, which is 5 volt. Yeah, you and that's it for this question thanks for watching magnanimous minds lectures online please do subscribe to our channel as well as liking our videos also do follow us on our social media platforms facebook we are magnanimous minds instagram magnanimous underscore minds twitter at magnanimous name one